Good morning. It's a very cold Saturday morning in Lagos, Nigeria. And how best to combat the cold, Akara and Pap. So, I had this inspiration to make my Akara a bit more colorful than normal. So, after blending the Akara, I diced um, bell pepper, red bell pepper, and um, squeezed, should I say squeeze? Squeezed the um, smoked Titus fish. That's me trying to mix it up together. I squeezed it and you know added them together now poured it into the mixture prior to doing this I'd already beaten my I mean I'd already stirred my Akara mixture because when you have to you have to stir after bringing it from the blending plate so that it will dry and maybe a bit, a bit fluffy that's me adding the salt to taste ah I forgot to put um <laughs> egg yolk i always like to put egg yolk to increase the this spoon is a family area this spoon makes akara easier to scoop and i think it also gives it some some taste too so this is me um turning the akara notice that it's a it's a bit brown already so when you turn the akara you have to do it gently 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 so that you will not splatter though sometimes it does splatter either either to the sides of the saucepan or onto the onto the next cousin akara or the sister akara beside it don't mind me so you turn when it's a bit golden brown remember that your akara your, your oil must be go must be you know must have been on fire for a while yeah this is me after turning everything then lightly lightly press it press it with a spoon or a preferred spoon like that so that if it's not properly fried, the excess will come out and it will get it will be able to fry evenly inside. So that's me frying. Um, you know, I learned this. I learned this technique from one Akara woman when we a papa. Yeah, I fantastic Akara seller. Akara is always on point. So this is me trying to ensure that the unfried part, uncooked part of the Akara, is squeezed out so that oil can enter into it and you know get fried evenly. I always use this, this frying pan so that it would be a bit of um, a deep frying, you know. And um, it always comes out nice, very nice, if I must say so. I've got a huge following for my car by my house. So this is me trying to, you know, ensure. okay, can you see that part? The uncooked part is coming out. I think next time I'll try and dice a bit of more um, akara dough. <laughs> yeah, this is me scooping out the golden balls akara. Akara that went to Albert. Akara that should see the Queen of England. And probably meet <laughs> the incoming kings. Either Charles or William. So that's the first round so of the that mm, Yummy, right? So sweet looking, so yummy looking. And yummy tasting too. <laughs> so this is the finished recipe finished look for the akara you can either put um prawns or you know anything you like any protein you like trust me it elevates the akara to another level come and chop oh bye <laughs>